Shopping for a diamond ring can be confusing with so many choices. CBS 2 Susie Sa shows us an option you may not even know about, lab grown gems. I was uh, really overwhelmed. I mean, there's tons of choices. Jeremy De La Garza and his girlfriend Jennifer Stratton of Burbank are considering an important and expensive purchase. It's nerve wracking. They're shopping for a diamond engagement ring. The ring has to re reflect my personality and fit me perfectly. And finding that perfect diamond engagement ring can be very confusing. Buyers now have more choices than ever before. So this is the engagement ring. This is to get her to say yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anthony Rodriguez is a diamond consultant at Robbins Brothers in Glendale. They're going to have the diamond for the rest of their life, so it's important that they have options. He showed us three stones. On the left is your classic natural diamond. In the middle, a simulated fake, like cubic zirconia. On the right, a lab cultivated or synthetic diamond. It is real, but made in the lab. Can you tell the difference? A synthetic diamond is going to have the same physical, chemical, and optical properties as a natural diamond. Brenda Harwick is an instructor at the Gemological Institute of America in Carlsbad, or GIA, the nonprofit organization that created the internationally recognized four C's cut, color, clarity, carrot to describe diamonds. A synthetic will be grown in a laboratory, and a natural diamond is our little treasure from Earth. Synthetics cost 30 to 40 percent less than natural diamonds. At Pure Grown Diamonds, they make them by placing a carbon chip in a microwave chamber, adding electrical energy and gases, creating a molecular reaction. The Federal Trade Commission, or FTC, has very strict guidelines for diamond sellers. Retailers must disclose to the consumer by labeling if a diamond is lab-made or a synthetic. And when it comes to making that important diamond buying decision, Here's some advice from GIA. Do the research. Familiarize yourself with the four C's. Choose a qualified jeweler, just like you would choose a lawyer or a doctor. Buy a piece of jewelry that you love and know why you love it. Get an independent appraisal. This would give a monetary value and is needed for your insurance. And while Jeremy plans to buy the engagement ring soon, he says timing and details of the proposal will be a surprise. It is a once in a lifetime experience and, and I wanted it to be perfect. Susie Sa, CBS 2 News. And lab made diamonds cultivate over six to 10 weeks. It replicates the Earth's process of crystallizing carbon.